we're live. And see, that's why they like listening to us before the show starts, because we're of so course. scintillating. We're so scintillating, so so <laughs> yeah, intellectually stimulating. That's so. why, you know, since Cheers is off the air, these folks have nothing to do. Mm-mm. Folks, Thursday night, you know what that means? Murder Hobo Inc. is in Cacophony, the urban scenario, the urban jungle, the mean streets. Welcome aboard. Thanks for watching. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, like David's got or this, uh, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord, the uh, link is down there. If Most importantly, if you want to join us either on a one-shot or on the talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, hit us up. Let us know. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving us dice that roll far too high to my liking. Uh, and, of course, oddfishgames.com. Uh, makers of the adventure sense. Smells like a rowdy tavern, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they also have uh, cooking, cookbooks. So take a look at it. Well, uh, Kyle, Kyle would go on endlessly. I'll just say, check out oddfishgames.com. They got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Tonight, like I said, we are in Cacophony. Uh, If you've seen the show before, you know what this is. Uh, If you haven't seen the show, welcome aboard. This is a strictly urban adventure. So let's get right to it. Let's introduce our players. First up is Carrie, who is normally and currently our producer. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing? I'm Carrie. I'm a sometime dice maker and... uh... Let's see. David used to call us the D level or the D team, but <laughs> I mm-hmm. think I'm on the E team. Um, and I'm playing a fourth level necromancer. Very nice. Next up is David. David, who are you? Who are you playing? I am David, and I will be playing Zadar tonight. Uh, Zadar is the gender fluid non binary changeling. So he usually shifts into some kind of 80s rock star personality male or female so whatever suits his whims uh, oh you've been changed yet and you've been uh billy idol who are you tonight uh i'm, I'm still into billy idol form yes. okay <laughs> that'll work uh last but certainly not least the youngest member of the murder hobo crew and as kyle puts it uh the most dangerous uh caitlin caitlin who are you and who are you playing tonight i'm playing daphne she is a tiefling paladin, so still not going to be that dangerous. We've been okay lately. We only murdered one person that was innocent so far. <laughs> innocent, guilty, tomato, tomato. Uh, yeah. Folks, if you saw the introduction, these guys are about to uh, hit the big leagues. They are. They have been told head over to the governmental office and meet with Zoran Zubek, one of the city council members, one of five. Uh, He was present there when Arawa was uh, poisoned, uh, and he is one of the senior members of the council, and he has specifically requested you three to come to the council chambers and meet with him. Uh, The guildmaster, uh, Famunda D's Nuts, uh, has sent his uh, esteemed colleague, Fauntleroy, over to tell you uh, that the uh, parchment arrived at the guild house. Famunda has not seen it, but it was not addressed to Famunda. It was addressed to you guys. So he has brought it over. Uh, when you open it, you discover the councilman Zubek is requesting a meeting with you. Uh, so, you know, yeah, a little fame, a little fortune, uh, you know, headed your way. Now you got to do something for the, uh, big cats. So, uh, you want to head on over there? Or you want to dick around in the city and tell me to shove my adventure up my ass? Can we tell Fauntleroy to go back and tell Femundo what's going on? Sure. Okay. He, he will most certainly do that. However, it was a personal missive. Uh, so he does not see the problem in Femundo open in your not open in your mail oh no i just want him to know okay that is fair enough uh folks this is for mature audiences so if you don't like swearing uh time to go find a new channel okay you guys <laughs> want to head over to the governmental offices can we find the flying j first i want some coffee uh you want to ask around sure the flying j is in the southwest corner of the city 
And where so, do we need to go to see what's his face? Let's see which one of these Neato maps. Ah, good. None of them. <laughs> uh, none of those maps work. So let me bring up a new map and we will show you exactly where you folks are headed tonight. Da -da 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 -da. Charge! <laughs> So, you guys are in Cacophony. Yes. You are, <laughs> you are currently over here. Mm -hmm. This is the Adventurer's Bungalow. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the Guildmaster Hall, so you'll have to come up the incline there, you know, the old alleyway. Mm -hmm. Right there is where you dealt with the haunted house. Mm -hmm. Once you pass the um, Guild Hall... Uh, this is the governmental building, mm -hmm. and the Flying J is located right there on the corner. Mm. Oh, is everybody okay. okay with going there? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Councilman can kiss your ass. He well, mean... was there a time? He can it? wait. <laughs> well, I mean, was it like immediately? Well, no, but you know, it's Councilman. Uh yeah, you can head on over there. That's well, fine. We'll show up late with a coffee in hand. Hey, how you doing? Oh, very nice. Yeah. I'll, I'll bring him one. <laughs> oh, nice. We'll bring one for him. There we go. There you go. That's classy right there. Uh, so you make your way several blocks around. Everybody go ahead and roll a D6 for me. See if I can screw with you. Mm. Four. Five. Four. Nobody gets screwed with. Uh, you pass by the governmental office. You notice the uh, prehistoric skull that somebody killed somewhere. Uh, you see that the governmental offices are quite busy today. There seems to be a uh, protest getting ready to start up. Uh, always one. <laughs> uh, you continue on past in the shadows of Uma Thurman's tower. Uh, Has and it been they're, repaired yet? Uh, there, there are workers okay. on there. Uh, she could probably just mend it, but she'd rather help the local economy oh. and pay somebody because she, she cares. She gives a shit. She's got like a sick fetish and she's like, yeah. No, maybe, she's maybe not she, paying them. She's got them under a geese. That's so right. Maybe she likes looking at hot construction dudes. Mm -hmm. That could be. It's, True. You know, that, that's possible. Uh, as you pass by Uma Thurman's place, you see uh, who wants to roll a d12 against me? I'll, I will. Go ahead, Zadar. I have a three. I have a four. Uh, there's a small line uh, at the Flying Java, a.k.a. the Flying J. Uh, you can jump in line and wait a few minutes and go in and get your uh, cup of morning joe, or you can wander back off to the governmental office. Now at the counter, do they have the little vials of the five-minute um, healing potions. <laughs> no, but they have uh, erection pills right there for you. In case you're spell <laughs> the, horny, <laughs> the horny goat weed. The horny goat weed is right there. So, you know, they care, just not enough. Not so. enough. Okay. I would like so, to wait for my coffee. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, a few minutes later, uh, the barista goes ahead and takes care of the customers in front of you. Looks at you three. Uh, Daphne, are you naked today or not yet? Not yet, but I'm also not getting coffee. Okay. Uh, so you can go in and uh, peruse the croissants uh, mm -hmm. or sit in a comfortable chair and read the Cacophony Times, the local periodical. Uh, <laughs> Camille and Zadar, uh, you're up. The barista wants to know, first off, your name and what you want. Uh, my uh, name is Camille. This is Zadar. I'd like to have a refill of black coffee in my Flying J mug. And okay. I would like to order another one for what's your space that we're going to see. And it's been Zadar, a whole three minutes. What would you like to have? Oh, I'm buying. Zubek. Oh, you're buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll have the cacophony latte. There we go. Nice. Uh, hey, Daphne, she's buying. You might want to jump on that shit. A few minutes later, uh, your orders are up. Uh, and the barista has taken the foam and turned it into a sword bashing a shield because the Flying J is a classy place. Awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Uh, with drinks in tow, Daphne, was there anything that you wanted? 
I'll tip the barista. So just some bread. Okay. I, and I'm trying to call on you the minute I see you put food in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so that is not accidental at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can get some bread. You can get a, a nice twisty croissant. Uh, would you like? Uh, uh, would you like any? Uh, I don't know. Crap on top. Nah, we basic. All right. <laughs> you guys want to? Are you guys ready to head back to the governmental office? Now we're ready. Well, okay. <laughs> You backtrack, pass over, uh, notice hot, sweaty male and female construction workers uh, working there, out to a tune. Oh, okay. Is there one dressed like a city guard, another dressed like a local indigenous person? <laughs> nope. Wow. There is no There is no YMCA. And like latex, like, because oh. this girl's making them work, so they're going to be wearing skin-tight, weird outfits. I'm totally going to... I'm gonna. I'm totally gonna shape into the biker. With <laughs> <laughs> the oh no, that was the cop with the big mustache. Yeah. Uh, you reach the uh, governmental offices, and there is a ring of guards uh, holding the protesters back. Uh, but they recognize you and wave you in forward. Uh, let's see who doesn't make it so hot. That's a four. Uh, Zadar, you are in Billy Idol form. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the protesters stops and calls you a swine and a suck up to the uh, administration. I'm like, hey, do I even know you? How do you know me? <laughs> yeah, it's a compliment. Uh, they insist that uh, you're just a pig and a pawn uh, dedicated to keeping the people down. <laughs> Don't worry. I will fight for you anyway. So, uh, Zadar makes it in uh, past the guards with Camille and Daphne. You guys go into the building. Uh, some of you have been here before to the left of the council chambers. To the right is a nice fountain and a waiting room. And there are your favorite guards right there on the front. Uh, uh, let's see if they recognize you. Hey, boys. At 20, you made a distinct impression on them the previous time you were in here. Uh, what did we call the one that was cleaning the floors? Oh, I forgot his name. Slop Bucket Johnny or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, he recognizes you. Uh, he still is not favorable to you. Uh, you want to tell him what you're doing here? I suppose. We're here to yeah. deliver coffee. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, and not for you. Not you. Slop we'll, bucket Johnny is not happy. We'll catch you next time. Uh, <laughs> but I'll give him half my croissant. Oh, that's so nice of you. There that's you nice. go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slop bucket Johnny, Johnny. is going to be his name. For it's now. canon now. <laughs> that's right. Uh, oh, uh, so you're here to see Zoran? Yes, yes, we're here to see the councilman. Upstairs, uh, go to the end. Hang a right. You will recall that before you went straight ahead, first door to your left, and that was Arwa's office. Right. Uh, as you head up the stairs, you make it to the second floor landing. You notice the doors on either side of you are open, uh, and guards are moving things in and out. Uh, for lack of a better term, it looks like archives hmm. of some kind. A lot of old tomes, a lot of dusty chests, etc., etc. <clears throat> you get to the end of the hall, you hang a right, you go two doors down. There's a nice little brass nameplate on there uh, that says Zoran. Uh, what do you want to do? I take my stick and I rap on his, on the door. Knock, knock. Uh, enter. Well, that wasn't very welcoming, but okay. Uh -uh. In we go. Uh, okay. It appears as though that he's in the room with another gentleman and they are going over some type of plans. He sees you, gets a bright smile on his face, rolls up the plans, hands them back to the gentleman, uh, says, I will go ahead and ponder your uh, assessment of this and I will get a hold of you later. Welcome, my friends. I have set up three seats for you already. Please, please come in and join me. Uh, is there anything I can get you? What up, Florian? Uh, I brought you some coffee. He's going to be impressed. 
Uh, well, thank <laughs> you very much. I, I did not expect that. Uh, oh, look, there's a little tiny sword wrapping a shield on here. That's kind of clever. That is. Is there mine? Yeah. It, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate you guys coming. I'm sure that you have other things that you need to be doing, uh, but I certainly do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to come see me for a small minor problem. Um, he says uh, he just uh, received an update about uh, their, his sickened colleague, whom you guys saved. Uh, again, thanks you very much, and asks if you've seen the uh, uh, enchanter who uh, was able to create the uh, antitoxin. Um, oh, the antichrist. <laughs> close, it's Mortimer J. <laughs> J. Sneed. Yes, is that the enchanter that he's referring to as Mortimer? Yes. Yeah, it's yes. been a couple days. Yeah, and he's he had a kind of a rough time. But... Yeah. I, I heard that uh, nefarious individuals attempted to assassinate him, but he has disappeared from cacophony. Well, he might be done with his sabbatical. Who knows? It's possible. That's very good. Well, I hope that uh, he does not succumb to my friend Arawa's uh, take. Uh, he also has croissants, so Daphne, if you want to grab another one, you're more than welcome to. Uh, he he will <laughs> Are they chocolate? Uh, they're chocolate sprinkled donuts. Oh, no. Oh, you said it was a croissant. You said it was a croissant. It's a chocolate covered sprinkled croissant. It's a cronut. That's just oh, crazy. nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fancy. Ten gold pieces right. each. <laughs> he, uh, he, he will say, uh, by all means, help yourself. Uh, let me get right to the matter, since you guys are most likely busy. Uh, as you know, I'm a very busy man. As councilman, I have a great deal of duties here in Cacophony that I must fulfill. And sadly, that has made me somewhat delinquent in my duties as a father. Uh, I have a daughter, Zephyr, uh, and she is a bit of a free spirit that needs to be reined in a little bit. You should she have left named her something else. <laughs> I, I will take that up with her mother. Thank you. <laughs> uh, she, she left the house several days ago and has not been seen since. Uh, he says he will confirm that he has several people out looking for her, but they have not been successful. Uh, and he has been told by other members of the council that you individuals are uh, increasing your track record of successes at an astronomical rate and suggested that he talk to you guys. Uh, he gives a vivid description of his daughter and Zoran or Zephyr? Nope. Um, Zadar and too many fucking Z's. Zadar and Camille, <laughs> you will recognize this girl as somebody who was last she seen. She was on that beach, wasn't she? No, Zadar literally ran into her. <laughs> yeah, was... Zadar ran into her out in Old Town. Uh, yeah. Right as, road. right as the uh, cart with the yes. used to be puppies nearly ran her down. Yeah. Um, so you know what she looks like. Uh, Daphne will not, so she will need assistance. Daphne, he gives you the description of a goth teenage girl mm -hmm. uh, with wild hair and a uh, very free spirit. She and I had a connection. There, yes, because of the... Yeah. Right. Um, the unibrow? <laughs> no. no, that's right here. It's not here. <laughs> uh, she, uh, he says, he has received a report that she was last spotted in Old Town. Uh, any uh, assistance you can give him, uh, he will make sure that you are handsomely rewarded. So, did she just disappear? Or did you have an argument first? Did she just not come home? What's the story there? She hasn't been home in three days. Uh, as I said, I was busy uh, taking care of Arwa's business. Uh, so so how did you uh, know she was at home? Uh, her mother told me. And so what did your mom, or what did your mom, what did her, your wife say? Just that she hadn't come home? Hadn't come home. Uh, she also pointed out that several items were missing from the house. I assume this is how she is maintaining her... Uh, Nefarious lifestyle. Correct. <laughs> Uh, you got to pay for those components somehow. That's right. <laughs> right. 
You, you can tell from his furrowed brow that uh, he is uncomfortable in speaking about this issue. Uh, well, I but... reassure him that we have the utmost confidentiality. And that is what I've been told about you. So that is why I uh, went ahead and I, and if you are unable to or your busy schedule prevents you from doing that, I, I can certainly understand. But if there's anything that you can do, I would be most gracious, as would her mother. Um, I'm good. OK. And I'm looking at how many days has it been since I ran into her? Uh, two for you guys. Two. OK. Wow, we get around a lot we in two do. days. Damn. <laughs> I'm still well, running from that what, bunny. One day it was the bunny, yeah. and the other day it was uh, in the shipwreck. Yep. Technically, okay. though, I should kind of space that shit out. But oh, hey, well. we're doing fine. That's right. <laughs> you guys are fine. So uh, you're searching for a runaway if you want. How old is yes. she? Uh, you believe she's about 15. So should we talk to the mom at all first, or just go look for her? Uh, her mother her mother is inconsolable i don't think that she would be able to give you uh much assistance okay okay well we know about where we last saw her so does she have any friends start there. that she hangs out with uh, i could not tell you okay one of those involved fathers awesome. he's a very busy man he's making sure the cacophony runs right yeah awesome there's a like crystal globe people does the what there's no like uh map magical map no there's no uh, uh what was that thing called in uh like a mischief, sand table <laughs> uh, mischief magic in uh, harry potter oh yeah marauder's map yeah, yeah. no marauder's map not in cacophony at least not yet well i guess we gotta head to old town then yes go down to old town road i'm gonna plug that as many times as i can do they have uh, or something? Do they have what? Pet dogs around us. Mm. Oh yeah, there, there's there's plenty of pets around town. She does not. Uh, Zephyr does not have a pet animal. But like, did she grow up with one? Parents have one. Uh, she grew up with gerbils. I don't know. She may have a puppy right now. We were handing out rabid puppies. Yeah, <laughs> she may be dead. She may have rabies. <laughs> Well, I'm so. thinking, like, if we get a dog and it gets her scent or something, I don't know. Oh, no, we do not have dogs currently. No. Our last dog died several years ago, and we did not replace it. That's so bad. So, uh, so we know where to start, so we can... Yeah, you can head down to Old Town if you want. Yeah, we'll, we'll be on our way. <laughs> and I lean into uh, Camille, I'm just like... We gotta go to the apothecary first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh, fair enough. Uh, Before I exit, though, with the crowd, I'm gonna stoke them up singing "Rebel Yell" on the way out. Yeah. Oh, you mean the uh, protesters outside? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Uh, you guys head on down the old dirt road leading to... <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to jump on that one as well. Uh, <laughs> you guys come down the road. You pass Uma Thurman's uh, tower. Uh, the men and women are still dressed in latex and suspenders, singing work songs. Uh, you come to the <laughs> Flying J, and you realize that this is the wrong map. <laughs> <laughs> you've gone too far yeah in reality you guys are here right uh, this is Uma Thurman's tower mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the apothecary Ooh. is Henny's okay and we're right about you guys are right here in front of the Ottoman furniture place right right Okay. So you can cut through here. The crowd here, this is the merchant district, so the crowd is extremely populous at this time. Okay. Maybe so, strength for a few on us? <clears throat> uh, you haven't found that lady yet. <laughs> but Tell I them. 
Keep a hand on your coin purse. Right. And I mean your literal coin purse. <laughs> yeah, that would be over here by components for Claire is where you're going to get sprayed by the lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and you don't want to get sprayed at the Yield Leatherworks because then you'll smell like urine. you're an employee at the urine, uh, the leather corset bordello. So, oh. <laughs> so you guys can head in. You can go past uh, the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. in between the civic library and the pawn shop this particular area right here is going to be heavily inundated with people Yikes. uh and there seems to have be an adventurer's wagon mm. pulling up with several well-armed well-heeled uh heavily scarred individuals uh but you should be able to make it to henny's alchemist shop without issue okay okay you walk in, and there's a little bell that dings, showing that the door is there. And I believe Henny is a gnome. Let me see for certain. Uh, he's a wiry human with seven fingers. Oh, no. On both hands or one hand? Four and three. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a one-armed, <laughs> seven-fingered guy. Nice. <laughs> he, he he can carry a lot of dough. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and his his lovemaking skills are par excellent. Uh, no, he's got four fingers on one hand without a thumb, and then just three fingers on this mm. hand for a total oh, of seven no. fingers. He's a human. He's wiry. Uh, and he greets you warmly and asks what you can do for you. I'm totally pi picturing Chris Elliott from Scary Movie or whatever. Nice. <laughs> Let me get that for you. <laughs> so. Uh, hello. Um, what can I do you for? <clears throat> we are looking for some healing potions. Got a lot of them. Got a lot of them. Yep. Any you well, recommend? <laughs> Uh, I, I recommend the Robitussin. And what does that do for you? Uh, <laughs> tussin. It you got the Tussin. It, it brings back uh, lost hit points like you wouldn't believe. How much? <laughs> 200 no, gold. Well, I'm a bit of an alchemist, young lady, or <laughs> young tiefling, and uh, uh, in my younger days, I was a little bit careless, and... Uh, those have turned to dust. But don't worry, I can still make great elixirs. You've got my scout's promise on it. <laughs> the Tussin is 200 gold pieces each. Shit. Hmm. Okay. That's but you got around the 100 gold piece or the 50 gold piece range. I got a couple 50 gold piece ones. Uh, that'll do you real well. Uh, mm -hmm. Those are called uh, uh, Smith Bros. <laughs> they come in candy form candied form yep. okay are they all right flavored? yeah yes they are Heal cherry flavored Heal healing lodge uh lozenges that's so, right yeah 50 gold pieces they'll uh heal 1d8 plus two how many of them you got got about six hmm okay you want to split it yeah we'll split it okay three each so what 150 each yep two each Got six. Oh, two each. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, so, I was trying to be a little crafty, but yeah. Uh, he, caught, he caught me on it. <laughs> Count Rugal of the Seven Fingered Alchemist is not going to fall for that trick. Yeah, because he uh, counts his fingers all the time to make sure he still has them. That's so. right. So you he... owe me seven. <laughs> uh, you owe him uh, 300 gold. Okay. All right. He gives you over the magic lozenges. Okay. Anything else I can get for you? You have any mm -hmm. talismans or anything around here? Uh, no, I, de de bleh, I deal strictly in elixirs. Okay. Uh, what other types of elixirs do you have here? I have this one, and he hands out a swirling blue mass one in a very slender vial. He goes... If you're up high and you fall, this one will save your bacon. How much is that one? That is a hundred gold pieces. My goodness. Anything Can, else? It's more of a Carol thing. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, he has uh, he has love making potions. Uh, he's the one that supplies mm. the flying J with their little blue pills. With their little blue pills. Uh, and uh, he also has uh, some general crap. So I, I have a frequent buyer card from the flying J. Can I get it stamped here? No, you cannot. Oh, damn. I am a supplier, not a co-dealer. <laughs> yes, Zadar. I, I reach into my bag and I pull out the chromatic potion. And I'm like, swirl it around. What can you tell me about this? Uh, that nice. is the Tommy Chong potion, is it not? You tell me. <laughs> that is the Tommy Chong potion. And uh, that is a very uh, dangerous uh, substance that you have there, my friend. I would use it only in case of immediate danger. Well, okay. What does it do? Uh Depending on the color, it changes. Result, results may vary. Yeah. You want to okay. sell it? I don't know. It? Is he buying? <laughs> oh, you can ask him. I'll buy it for 125 It's up to you. It could either be fun or it could be really bad. <laughs> no, it's yours. I was just throwing it out there. That's it. I'll, I'll hold on to it for right now if I grow. Um, let me think about it a little bit and then I'll I'll come back and, you know, if I make up my mind, I'll sell it. You got it. Uh, horned one, you want anything here? Is there anything that's good for me? There's love making potions. Got any love oil for her oin her horns? <laughs> gotta keep them supple. No, you gotta keep them hard so that you can stab people. Well, yeah, but you don't want it to crack. Tiefling don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Tiefling's whack. It don't crack. Nice. Uh, if you ever go swimming, I got a potion of swimming for you. Although, I guess it's 75 gold pieces. Do I even have monies? Oh, I'm you sure. Do. You do. <laughs> How much? I don't even know. How much money are we supposed to be having? You probably have around three, three. I would imagine. Yeah. Three yeah. gold? 300. 300. Rook. <laughs> you, got, you got three gold. You barely bought a scone. <laughs> All right. I'll take it then. Five monies. 75 gold. Uh, it is an aqua, handy. aqua blue color. Nice. This is a potion of like what was reading? Swimming. Swimming. You'll be Mark. Well, you don't know who Mark Spitz is. Uh, Matt Biondi. Uh, Who's the guy that smokes weed all the time? Oh, Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. You'll, <laughs> swim, you'll swim really fast. You'll be the albatross. There you yeah. go. So, there you oh, go. Yeah, you swimming in the water. You'll be like a dolphin. I have a tail. <laughs> uh, there it'll, you turn, go. it'll turn into a fluted tail. Uh, that's all he's got. Uh, he says, I hate to rush you, but I got, uh, I got, uh, other business I must attend to. Uh, so if there's nothing more, we pay for our wheel, uh, wares wheels <laughs> and then get out a lot of there. Right. Uh, you go out into the main alcove and the crowd is really thick here. Uh, but you manage to bob and weave through, you find the, uh, formerly old dirt road leading down to old town. And there you see the Southern, uh, gate. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Uh, ding, 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 ding. 17 oh. for Zadar. Hang on. Oh, wow. My dog needs to go out. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What was yours, Daphne? Two. And Camille rolls a two as well. Uh, Zadar, you're the only one that notices uh, there's... Oh, you got a 16? Okay, yeah, you see... <laughs> Uh, there is writing in the sky. Oh no! It's, it says Dibble Thibbet. You need oh, to deliver. Oh, okay. Dibble Thibbet. Dibble Thibbet. Mm -hmm. Need to deliver it. Yeah, I think there was something else you wanted me to say about that with regards to your swashbuckler associate, but I can't remember what it is. Oh. Uh, okay. But you don't see like anybody on a broom or anything. It just magically appears, no. and then it quickly dissipates as well. As you go to out the south gate, uh, there is Old Town, uh, which you are very familiar with. You see a fat, naked man proclaiming that he is emperor. Again? 
tattered red hair and everybody is still ignoring him. Uh, you also notice uh, an orc individual pushing a now patched up wagon. Uh, it seems as though he's got more puppies in it. My God. How it's many part of a puppy have? mill, isn't he? It's a puppy mill. <laughs> oh, that's just wrong. That he comes wrong. up to you and asks if you'd like to buy a puppy. Just like before, these puppies look, uh, for lack of a better term, mentally challenged. Uh, yeah. Can I see the kennel where they came from? Their mother, father? Uh, uh, several miles away. Uh, I'll be going there later tonight if you'd like to follow me in the dark. Alone. Yeah, we'll, 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 come back. <laughs> we'll come back at night. And Put a pen in it. Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are plenty of people around here. Uh, and you know where Dibble Thibbets is. Mm hmm. Uh, if you want to go see him, you are more than welcome to, or you can wander around town. Well, let's go see Dibble and see if he knows anything. That, that'll be fun. So uh, let's go see our friend Dibble. Uh, you go down to Dibble Thibbet's uh, business, which you are intimately familiar with. Daphne Dibble Thibbet is a small gnome of big stature uh, and big personality. He uh, does not appear to be home. A sign on the front door says closed out for delivery. Uh, if you dibble it, we'll thibble it. It. Yep. That figures. He he can be out today. So. And you see a turkey vulture perched at the top of the roof, just kind of looking down, leaning at you. <laughs> I, I remember that from last time. We wave. The turkey vulture is nonplussed. Mm -hmm. I flip him off. Still non. Still non plus. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dibble Thibbet is not present. Okay. So, hmm. well, I mean, we can make our way back to the main thoroughfare of Old Town. So, piece of cake. You're right there. Uh, remembering what Zephyr looked like, I am like creating almost like a spectral image of her face, and I'm walking around. Are there any pawn shops around here? That is a good idea. Not there in was an in town, but not in, in Old Town. Not in Old Town. I should have thought about that before we left. So, Yeah, in Old Town, there are no pawn shops anymore. There used okay. to be. I will ask His Highness if he sees if oh, he's boy. seen her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna talk to a kook. Mm -hmm. uh, he sticks out his hand and reaches down and kind of waves it in your face. Wanting you to kiss a green ring wrapped around his finger. Uh, I'm just like, uh, okay, with the other hand, I'm, I make a spectral face and like kiss the ring. It's like, oh. you know, I'd have to press the digitate that first, man. Ronald Hump is not impressed. So no. uh, he asks, what may the liege do for the faithful servant? Well, my liege, I was looking for this young lady. Have you seen her? Uh, according to my attorney, I have not seen this young lady. Ah, okay. So, okay. According, uh, so what else has your, your attorney, attorney said about yeah. this young lady? I am not at liberty to say. <laughs> I will tell you tomorrow. I absolutely promise that I will tell you tomorrow. Everything you need to know. Why is tomorrow different than today? Because you're here right now. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Your Highness, and I give him a gracious bow. You know he's naked, right? Did I? Yeah, mention I try. That? I, I kind of naked. looked away. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the word yeah. "nut" escaped your mouth. Uh, meanwhile, all, all the poor people are still milling about uh, Old Town, taking care of wares. Uh, you recognize the boys that. <laughs> received the rabid dog uh some of them have uh seeping wounds uh going through their bandages in ankle forearm shoulder uh but you do not see any of the mentally challenged puppies from last time they are m-i-a probably for the best <laughs> i'm sure something unusual happened to them uh yeah either that or you Kid, check the lake or <laughs> whatever. I'm sure. Probably. You mean floating dog lake? Mm hmm. Nice. Floating dog lake. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, so yeah. What kind of.
places are down here in Old Town? Uh, there are quite a lot of uh, older buildings because this was where the city uh, started. I'm going to need everybody to roll a DC 15 versus perception, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're adding our modifiers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. 20, not natural. Okay. Uh, three. Daphne? Wait, we have to roll against 15. Better than 15. <laughs> a nine. <laughs> uh, Camille and Daphne are clearly uh, window shopping at different locations, trying to find somebody who knows stuff. Zadar, you notice a mysterious stranger hiding in the shadows up by the tavern on the hill, uh, which you guys have been to as well. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm a little leery about that tavern because we've been in there, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Was that the one we fought in? Good thing yep. I look different. <laughs> so, Camille don't. <laughs> don't. You don't. You don't happen to have any means of disguise or anything. Huh? Uh, I have invisibility. Yeah, I'd hold on to that. How about okay. your cloak? You can pull up your hood. Uh, I can pull it over my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to go Darth Sidious on this one. Okay. Nice. Uh, so, Zadar, you notice the stranger. You notice the two associates. Do not notice the stranger. Okay. I I call Camille's attention to the stranger. Hopefully Camille's hood is up. It's always up. Uh, Camille and Zadar, give me performance checks. that score okay uh let's see <laughs> 10 mm. oh god two uh you guys engage in a conversation about hey there's a weird stranger over there over and there the strange figure with a flurry of robe movement dashes around the corner of the building out of eyesight how mysterious that's why they so, call him mysterious stranger Yes. So, um... The kids approach... Oh, no. Daphne. And start to tug at your tail. Uh, they seem to be very interested in your body because they have not seen a tiefling before. Uh, they want to know if you got any money. I whack them with my quarterstaff. Mind your business. We just dramatically turn around and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. <laughs> I'll give you that. Nice. Oh, two ones. You, two of the kids faint. Just <laughs> flat out faint. Uh, the seven will wet himself. Nice. The 12 will tremble in fear. And the 15 will be taken aback. But not scared. No gang. Coins, milady, or my sir, or my horned one. I where they lick my lips at the kid, like I'm hungry. Yeah, he, he's unaffected. He's <laughs> one of the, he's one of the younger kids. He has no fear. Yeah, uh, I, I make the image appear of Zephyr in my hand, and it's just like, have you seen this uh, this girl? Might be worth your while. Maybe. Could you take us to her? Points for information. I said, I'll give you a silver piece. I'll give you a, another one. if A you... silver piece? Yes. Hey, look, Grandpa. Maybe a silver piece was something in your day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I said at first, so I may, uh, I may be a little more generous after the information. I need gold. Don't I, got, I, I got good info. I need gold. What? You got kids to feed or something? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies. The, the tax collector's after me for back. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> well, look, if you if you can find her, we'll give you gold. Uh, I'll, I'll flip you a gold piece if you give me information on this girl. That's Zephyr Zubek. Okay. Well, where where have you? Gold piece. Gold, no. piece. gold piece. Gold piece. He said if I gave him information, I'd get a gold piece. 
Fine. Well, Welcher. There's a Welcher over here. I'll give you two if you can tell me where she is. Or the last place she was. Uh, the last place she was was walking through the south gate going into town. Pay up. She's probably <laughs> going to the pawn that's, shop. That's three. Pay up. Three? You only gave us two. One for telling you, yeah. and then two for that answer. That's three. Uh, he's no, in. no, it was one for one. Welcher, I, I, Welcher, everybody. I give him, I give him, I give him, I give him the, the three goal. Oh, geez, come on. You're, you're going to hit a kid in the nuts. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and I dropped the three gold next to him. <laughs> uh, give me three D20 rolls. Let's see if you drop any in poop. I uh, throw my... Four for the first one. 13 for the second. Two for the third. <laughs> Two lands in poop. <laughs> Number I two, right? Can I my staff out as he bends over? Sure. Okay. You gonna whack him in the ass? No, I'm just putting it out as he, you know, as he bends over. I just, you know, surreptitiously. Oh, my staff. I'm sorry you ran your head into it. Oh, it's like you're trying to, like, probe him? No! What is <laughs> she, she's, she's an alien. Ew. <laughs> like, this is some pedophile stuff. I walk away. <laughs> Camille, Camille Giselle, <laughs> uh, you uh, you go ahead and pop him in the head. Two of the coins, he kind of bites down on the third coin and puts it in his pocket. That's the poop <laughs> coin. That's the poop coin. You need any more information? I got a empty hand. Mm. No. no, I think he gave us enough. Okay. Uh. The uh, 12 has now broken free from his fear of Daphne and goes, did you tell him about the potion shop? What about the potion shop? Well, you see, and the 15 with the three gold pieces clamps his hand. With the dirty hand. (laughs) Yep, the poop hand. Goes, you're fine. There's a look of horrifying there's a horrifying visage on the 12 year old as he's covered his mouth in poop hand. Nothing. Nothing about a potion shop. Nothing at all. How many potion shops are in Cacophony? Just the one. What are you what, what is this? I'm information ain't free, lady. You didn't give us any information. <laughs> You're right, because you guys have been kind of chintzy. How much for that information? What information? Where the potion shop is. I didn't ask you, the kid, where the potion shop is. He still has his hand clamped over his brother's mouth. That's fine. Later. Alligator. Have, have, have fun with all three potion shops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, don't go. make don't I make me put a. I leave it to I hate don't, kids. It's just like don't make me put a gold piece in poop. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, kid, tell me which potion shop. Throw him the coin. Throw him the coin. The one in the market district. I think what? they call them hooligans or Hannigans or something Hennies? like that. The one. Hennies. Yeah, Hennies, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's it. All right. Well, thank you, sir. It is my pleasure. Uh. <laughs> I cast Mage Hand and flip him off as we walk away. <laughs> ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> uh, his friends hover around five him. Five no. gold pieces off of us, man. He took you for everything. Can Root. I cast Web on him? Oh, yeah, that Web will catch all the kids i do that oh no we're in a second level spell, spell already for, nice. for the kids Man. fair enough i uh, hate kids camille's arcane words flow freely and a group of sinewy strands burst forth from her fingertips and wad themselves over all five boys uh fortunately your web spell takes poop hand and slaps it right across his brother's <laughs> face Solidly. Uh, The others wake up from their fear. Uh, The other one, the third one, uh, the web absorbs most of the urine. (laughs) And I'll tell you, boys, you can thank him for this. You're pointing to the other kid, right? 
Oh, okay. Not you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, here come the parents. So what do you want to do? Well, we got to go to the pawn shop. Or, I'm oh. sorry, the... Yeah. Alchemist shop. Sure. Uh, so you want to go back exactly where you left? Yes. Yeah, ah, that's probably. Fair. Uh, you head back into town, and as you're passing... Uh, hang on a second. Uh, as you come to the shadow of Thurman Tower, or... Yeah. Er yep. Thurman. Thurman Tower on one side and the city school on the other. You hear loud shouting and screaming just ahead. At the plateau's edge, you observe three men cutting the bonds on a cart and the horse panics and charges up the street or down the street towards you. Moments later, you see the straw in the cart ignite and the three men push the vehicle down the incline headed for you and some guards. Hmm. Uh, first off, everybody DC 12 versus Dex or get hip checked by the uh, horse. Nine. That's a miss. Twelve. That is a save. Daphne, uh, Daphne saves as well as it are. The horse hip checks you for three hit points. Oh. And you go flying. Uh, as you write yourself up you notice the horse has spread out the guards uh unfortunately the cart of flaming straw is headed directly at you guys what would you like to do now would have been a good time for that web spell yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 i am gonna take a cunning action and gtfo okay Camille and Daphne. Am I not able to dodge it? You can try and dodge it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And Camille. Uh. You got levitate or something? <laughs> not at this level. Water on you. Web would have been awesome at this moment. Yeah, it would yeah. have. <laughs> uh, no, on a flaming cart. How about <laughs> right our uh, where are you going to aim it at? Well, the cart. The cart itself? Well, the flames. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Zadar, Daphne, DC 12 to jump out of the way of the cart. Camille, hit the flaming cart. Oh, 11. Wow. What was yours, Daphne? Seven. Neither one of you. But I shouldn't get hurt by fire that much, right? No, it's bludgeoning from the cart. The fire's not going to affect you guys. <laughs> two hit points to Zadar, two hit points to Daphne. Right. Uh, Camille? Rolling an 11? What, what was the DC on it? 12 out 12. of the D12? Oh, oh okay. See, I got... Never mind. I got confused. I rolled a D12. Okay. Oh, well, roll your D20. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it can't get any worse. <laughs> it gets worse, not one. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, 13. 13. So, so you don't yeah, I the two barely, I yeah. barely made it. Okay, sorry, I missed when you say DC, I, I need to pay attention. No problem. So. Camille, did you hit it? Uh, I got an 8. Uh, no, you shoot over. Oh, no, and... wait, I got to roll 20 first? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Uh, 13. Yes. Uh, and eight is the damage. Yes. You successfully extinguish the flames. However, the card careens past you guys and right towards the guardsmen. Mm. Yo. Collateral damage. I, ye I yell out, move! Uh, two of them hear you and dive for cover. One of them is hit directly oh. uh, with a five. And... Two murder hobo inks. 12 hit points of damage. Ouch. That dude is dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're heroes. I put out the fire and you tried to save them. Yep. One guard is dead. Uh, there are three robbers. They see you. Uh, they see the guards go to their fallen associates. Uh, they don't want any witnesses, so everybody roll initiative. Done, done, done. 
Taking the initiative. All right. Uh, Eleven. Six. And Daphne, yours is eight. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, well, the eleven goes first. Uh, there are three robbers. These guys have tried to rob something. Mm -hmm. uh, there are three of them to deal with. So. Camille, you're up first, followed by Daphne, followed by Zadar and the Brigands. Uh, they are the moral brothers. Nothing moral about it. <laughs> How about Thunderwave? So Ooh. <laughs> Go ahead. Burning off all your second level spells early. I like that. Uh, 19. Uh, 19 hits. Actually, what is... What does Thunder Wave do? I think I have to make a save, don't I? It says, a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away. And what is your save? What do I need to save against you? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, should be middle right. Bear with us, folks. I have no idea. Uh, but, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think on, on your character sheet. Uh, towards the top under spells or something, you should have something that says save spell DC. Modifier? Oh, there spell you save go. DC 13. Yes. 13 is what I need. I got a 7, a 16. And a five. Uh, is it save or suck, or is the one going to take half damage? I don't know what that means. Uh, well, roll 2d8, and I'll look it up. Okay. Ooh, nice. An eight and a six. On a successful save, creature takes half as much and isn't pushed. Uh... So you said eight and six, 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still alive. Uh, the one that didn't take damage was there. So it's 14, 14, and seven. And the one that is still able to attack, well, first off, uh, Daphne, you are up. Your associate has knocked two of them on their ass. If you want to attack them, they can be hit at advantage. Uh, the one that didn't get knocked down is the one on uh, Camille. So yeah. yours and Zadar's uh, are on the ground ass first. I'll attack the one on the ground. You can do so at advantage. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, so 20 to hit. Yep. And eight damage. Nicely done. Uh, that's 22. He's almost gone. Uh, Zidar, you and I tied. You will not get advantage on your attack. I'll let you go first, and then I will attack Camille. Okay. I will uh, I will take out uh, my scimitar, and I will make a slashing attack towards this douchebag uh, okay. okay uh that is a 24 to hit yep okay 16 is your magic number uh let's see uh eight is the damage with my bonus action i'm gonna make an offhand attack okay uh let's see And with that, it is a 23. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, damage is uh, 1d4 plus 5. Uh, seven points of damage. Very good. Uh, Camille, or Zadar, yours and Daphne starts to get up. Camille, yours attacks. Nat 20. And a 15 plus 4, 19. I get you twice. Mm. 
Uh, five and four plus two. Eleven hit points of damage as I slash through your robes. It is on like Donkey Kong, and you are up. Uh, shocking grasp. Okay, hit him. Nice. Thunder punch that bitch. Fifteen. Uh, fifteen is not good enough to hit him. You need a sixteen. Damn it. Uh, next up is Daphne. Daphne, you no longer attack at advantage as yours has gotten up. Okay. Oh, no. Spells to hit. Nope. Swing and a miss. Uh, Zidar, you and I go at the same time. You okay. will likely kill me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to, uh, uh, yeah, take another slash with right. the scimitar. Okay. Uh, what's the magic number? 16. 16. Uh, let's see. That's why I asked. It was just like, oh, did he say 17 or 16? Uh, let's see. Uh, that is going to be, uh, with that, uh, eight points of damage. Okay. And if I see that he's still standing, I'm going to take a bonus action with he's the got, dagger. He's got one hit point left. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm going to try to finish him off. Okay. Remember, you and I tied, so he'll still get to attack. Right. right. Uh, let's see. All right, dagger. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, 26. Okay, you will kill him, but... Okay, uh, seven points you... of damage, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. He will be dead. So, first off, we'll go after Camille again. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> a four and a five. God, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> Zadar... Uh, 15 and 19, so 20. The, nine, the 19 and, hits. 23 and 19. Oh, 23 so, and 19? Yeah, yeah they, those are they the both divers. hit. Okay, yeah. and Daphne. A 4, a 12, and a 16, so a dirty 20 and a 16. 20 would hit me. Okay, so... Uh, eight hit points to Zadar. Mm -hmm. Five hit points to Daphne as these guys are slashing. Uh, you notice that the one fighting Zadar falls. Uh, new round, Camille, top of the order. Top Wait, of the how? order with an 11. So how many are left? Two. Two. Um, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself. Fair enough. Daphne, you're up. To attack? Mm-hmm. Um, Your guy's looking pretty bad. 16 to attack him? 16's your magic number, so... <laughs> <laughs> Zadar, you and I tied. Who are you going to go after? Uh, but, uh, I am going to go... Which one is looking the worst? Daphne's is really hurt. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to take partial cover with somebody in a crowd and then pop around the other side and uh, shoot, shoot a hand crossbow at them. Well, there ain't no crowd here. Everybody ran. When Everybody ran? Yeah. Okay, and there was no place to kind of do a little cover? Like nope. kind of do it. All right, so I'm just going to make a crossbow attack. Okay. Okay, uh, 26. That hits. Six points of damage. He is dead. Okay. But not before he gets to attack. So, Camille. Uh, 17 and a 9, so 21 and 13. Uh, two hit points of damage this time. Uh, and Daphne. Uh, 19 and a 14, so 23 and an 18. They both hit. Cool. Three hit points of damage total. Okay. So I wussed out. Uh, Camille, you're up. Time for a little payback. Yours is the last one standing. Mm -hmm. How about Ray of Sickness? Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have led with that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, ooh, 20. Nice. Natural or no? No. Okay. Uh, nine. Yikes. Uh, Daphne, you're up. Oh, I get to make a, hang on. I get to make a constitution yes. saving throw. Uh, four. So I missed. What was the damage? Nine. Mm -hmm. uh, Daphne, you are up. Not gonna hit. <laughs> poor, poor dear, poor, poor dear. dear, poor dear, poor dear. Uh, Zadar, uh, it's you and I, and I'll still get to attack. No. It, well, is it right. poison still? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. <sighs> I, I will be attacking this, a disadvantage for the poison. This guy, this guy is pretty. He's hurt. Looking pretty, pretty. Oh, he's just hurt. He's not like really hurt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he's only right. been hit twice. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna swing with a scimitar again. Okay. Uh, Twenty-five. Oh yeah. God, this dice roller is hot. God. Okay. Uh, that is damage, not so much. Uh, Eleven points of damage. Now he's hurt, but he's still alive and he still gets to attack. I'm gonna take my bonus action though. Okay. I'm gonna uh uh I'm gonna disengage. What's that? <laughs> uh a seven and a seven, Camille, so I will miss, and that brings oh. us to you. Mm -hmm. Daphne, uh you wanna are you gonna? Okay. The couch table. Even it. Um. Too bad I didn't get that link to you. It's just like God. That brace. Those braces would be cool. <laughs> right about now. Like Spider-Man edged weapon style. Yeah. Um. It's almost as good as returning because they just re. You know. Re anyway. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do, Camille? Uh, Wait, did you say what did you say? <laughs> I missed it. There's uh, our hopefully our viewer will see yeah, our like a viewer, penis. Our one. Uh well crap. Okay. So did you hit him, Death? I'm not yeah. hitting him yet, am I? Yeah, you're attacking, aren't you? Uh, no. Camille, Cam oh, Camille. Oh, I'm sorry. I got um, confused. Shocking grasp. There you go. Hit him. Uh, 16. 16 is what you need. Okay. And... One. <laughs> okay, Daphne, put this guy out of his misery. Please. Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, 21 to hit. That hits. How much damage? <laughs> yes, eight damage. That puts him down. Uh, congratulations, you guys have defeated the Moral Brothers. Uh, the two guards that did not die come up and kick the deceased bodies in the face and the testicles as they cannot contain their rage. I, I get in a kick, too. <laughs> it's like, go! <laughs> so everybody takes turns kicking the dead bodies because, you know, city adventure. And uh, then I, I hold them up, and then we search the bodies. Uh, very good. Each one has a price on their head of 20 gold pieces, dead or alive. Okay. Uh, Zadar, go ahead and D12 against me. That is a six. Ten. One of them has a bag of 300 gemstones. Ooh. Uh, do I'm deception. taking that stolen goods, though. Do a deception check to see if you can hide it before the guards notice it. Okay, deception check. Damn it. Not, when, not with that score. Damn it. Uh, 13. 14. They see it. I'm like, <laughs> I, may, I, I may hand it to them. <laughs> I'm like, there, there you go, guys. 
Uh, it's just like, you don't know how hard this is to turn over. <laughs> uh, they tell you to uh, return to the guardhouse when you can, and you will be rewarded for 60 gold pieces. Okay. Which is better than nothing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, to the right is the Institute, which is the city uh, school. To mm -hmm. the left is the pawn shop and the civic library, uh, as well as the uh, plaza that you guys were just in an hour ago. Well, I asked the guards who did who did they rob? Uh, they robbed uh, the bareback stables. What are they doing with three hundred? It was three hundred gems total, or three hundred gold pieces worth of gems. Three hundred gold pieces worth. Oh, of gems. I was about to say three hundred gems. That I'm like, whoa. Yes, um, uh, they robbed this, the bareback stables. Okay. Which is right next to the entrance. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. And there's the guard station. Yeah. And you guys are right about here. Okay. <laughs> the baker's dozen. Nice. Uh, uh, okay. And the, and the well, you guys are on this road right here, so mm -hmm. you would actually be right about <clears throat> here. Okay. Okay. So the pawn shop and the civic library are mm -hmm. right there. This grayed out area is the institute. That's the city school. Mm -hmm. And there is Henny's the alchemist. Okay. Uh, I tell Camille, let's check the pawn shop first before we check Henny's. That works. Okay. Uh, fair enough. You go in and there are twin sisters. Uh, is this the same? No, this isn't the same pawn shop from, from Jolly Roger, huh? No, that is down at the docks. Okay, gotcha. No, this is Mabel and Abel's. Okay. So, we walk in. <laughs> uh, they have that annoying trait of talking at the same time, saying the same thing, and giving you the creep out shining approach. Are they twins? <laughs> they are twins. Dressed are. in widow's apparel with white lace doilies around the neck. And at the same time, they both say, welcome to Mabel and Abel's. How can we help you? <laughs> it's very I ask them which one's the pretty one, right? We're all in there. And they do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Self-esteem issues, huh? <laughs> so um, uh, I make... I make the image of Zephyr up here, and it's just like, by any chance you've seen this young lady? They both look. They both look at each other. They both look back at you. Yes. Uh, I take it she's been pawning things in here? Yes. <laughs> um, when was the last time she was here? Uh, yes, Daphne, you can. Um Huh? Huh? They seem to be concerned at that question. Uh, uh, 15 minutes ago. Oh. 15 minutes ago. Okay. Uh, which items did she pawn by any chance? Are they small items or large items or expensive items? Who wants to know? Uh, me and perhaps the original owner of those items. They both say, we do not accept stolen goods. Her father. Her father. Family doesn't make it stolen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cacophony. This is why I love this place. Well, then why so. can't you tell me if her dad wants to know? You didn't say her dad wants to know. Again, they're mimicking each other. It is really Her dad annoying. wants to know. <laughs> Uh, they go over to the checkout table, go in behind it, pull up a box, and they start pawing through stuff. Uh, as you guys look into the box, there are a wide variety of items that have been sold off. You aren't really sure. I mean, it's just mind-boggling the shit that people bring in there. There's mm -hmm. even a small stick with a strange feather on it. I mean, and it's broken. So, you know, not really yeah. sure. Uh, it looks rather familiar, though. Uh, mm -hmm. They produce a small item the size of a book, 
but it's like a jewelry box. Uh, mm -hmm. Inside is papers. Uh, and then they put a leather bag. Okay. Um, what, what is the pawn on these? How, how much does she owe on them? That's not for us to discuss. What if I want these items? These items are not for sale at this time. Can you tell me which way she went when she left this place? Yeah, we'll be back. And they're pointing towards Henny's, aren't they? They're pointing into the plaza. Into the plaza. Okay. Well, thank you, ladies. You're welcome at the same time. Okay. The owner may be back in here for those. So just just a heads up. That is fine. Okay. So I bid the ladies a good day and we head out to the plaza. You head out to the plaza. Camille and, and I do it simultaneously. <laughs> and the uh, and and Daphne, so we do it all at the same time. Mabel and Abel look at you, and at the same time, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got your short rest in, Daphne. Uh, don't forget, you also have two healing potions if you need them. Uh, as you go outside, you notice a crowd has gathered, very packed. Uh, kind of cutting off access to the plaza, and they are all circled around that adventurer's wagon. Uh, an individual that looks like an adventurer, only spindlier, stands atop a cart filled with strange items and addresses the crowd as he presents an item to be purchased. Uh, the individual in question, uh, you can ask somebody there. They say he's Cyrus Telgard. He's apparently some manager for an adventuring group that just got back and they're selling off their cool stuff that they got out of a tomb. Mm -hmm. uh, Cyrus is quite boisterous and will hold up a painted urn and asks, who wants to purchase this item? Before anyone can answer, the seller will go into great detail that it is the burial urn of King Oranus from the Lost Heplock dynasty that the region is named after. He will mesmerize the crowd with a description that the jar holds the remains of one of the most feared and powerful warlords from the lost dynasty. Ooh. Details will include that the item will bring dignity and fame. I'm like st stoking habit. the crowd going Ooh. Ooh. Ah. A citizen will offer 10 gold pieces for it initially but Cyrus will become offended at the offer, stating that he th had heard that the people of Cacophony had more class than that. <laughs> the bidding will continue to rise in increments of five gold pieces, but once it gets to 50 gold pieces, a prospective buyer will ask if there are any ashes inside. Mm. Puzzled, Cyrus will shake the urn, and then break the wax seal on the round lid. At this point, the ashes will expel from the urn oh, and take man. the form of a large, sinister-looking shadow. Apparently, King Honorus is the form of a shadow demon. Everybody roll, roll initiative. initiative. <laughs> oh. I was about to bet on it. <laughs> God, seven. Oh, man. I rolled a two. Oh. oh. Ha ha. <laughs> what was yours, Daphne? Take that, King, whatever. What's his face? Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, Zidar. 17. Uh, Zidar, you are the first one to react. Uh, the shadow demon is on the far side of the wagon. Uh, mm. Everybody first, DC 15 dexterity as the crowd scatters and creates quite the roadblock for you. Gosh. Wow. Ooh, Gosh. 20. Darn it. Uh, uh, how do you yeah. fight a shadow in broad daylight? Uh, 10, you say, Daphne? 6. Oh, yeah, you get jostled. Okay. <laughs> Am I rolling too? Or? Yeah. Okay. Uh, D20 you know or? You have to like ride the crowd with the cops. Uh, right. 19. Crowd oh, 
You and Camille are unaffected by the crowd surging backwards, but Daphne is swept up in the mess as people hook into her arms and run her backwards, <laughs> <laughs> taking her right out of the fight. Uh, Zadar, uh, the only thing that you can do from this angle is approach it and use your turn or shoot with missile or magic. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> that uh, uh no actually uh it's a long shot but it's gonna have to make a wisdom save uh 14 is the dc or oh 18 on the die oh god damn it <laughs> it was gonna be hideous laughter so oh i don't think that'd affect it but that's yeah. okay anyway, yeah it probably is immune to charm right okay. yes uh that's the 17 next up is the 12 uh daphne give me a strength check to try and break free from the crowd pushing you back uh 10 uh that's good enough for these low yokels uh you break free but you are now around away from attacking uh next up is the what how far away am i uh you are now 50 feet Fitty. Oh, my axe, maybe? Uh, well, you spent your round breaking free from the locals. Now you can yeah. throw your axe next round if you want. All right. Uh, Camille, Hopefully it's a hand axe and not your great axe. No, it's a hand axe. <laughs> Throwing a great axe. Hey, barbarians can do it. <laughs> Camille, what you doing? Hmm. So where is everybody? Uh, you are on the wrong side of the wagon. Zadar is on the wrong side of the wagon. Daphne is on the wrong side of the wagon and 50 feet back as the, she crowd surfed. Mm. You know what that means. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. It's time for fog cloud. <laughs> yeah, uh. give, me, give me a wisdom check. Three. Fog cloud it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to go well. Oh. Uh, fog descends, eliminating the sunlight, allowing the shadow demon to attack <laughs> normally. Uh, just as the fog begins to rise up and or descend, you see the shadow demon fly into the body of an elderly woman and the body shakes in pain and slumps over round two uh zadar fog cloud is down you can't see dick all you can hear is the screams and wails of people being destroyed by the shadow demon i'm gonna summon omen and get him up in the air to be my eye in the sky the fog cloud's like a mushroom cloud okay i'm Sending him above it. No, he's not going to be able to see through it. Mm -mm. So even though he can see invisibility, he won't be able to see that. So he's out anyway. So there you go. <laughs> uh, so what do you? I mean, it's still up to you. Uh, bonus action. I am going to move for some cover somewhere if I can find it. Uh. Whether it be the crowd or something. Uh, give me a wisdom check to see if you can uh, make any thing. <laughs> okay. Make any determination. Uh, 16. <laughs> that wasn't... There it is. That's the screaming. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> So, uh, yes, we didn't need to hear Kyle and his boredom. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, what was your role on Wisdom? 16. Uh, you remember that there's a big adventurer's cart and you dive down underneath. Okay. I do that and <laughs> cock the crossbow bolt. Very good. Daphne, uh, yes, you had the. Yes, you, ha you had the 12. Uh, the fog is all around. Do I feel people near me? Oh, yeah. You're getting bumped and jostled, moved around. And groped. <laughs> you're getting groped. What do you want to do? Can I 
grab a person as a human meat shield. Sure. <laughs> nice. You you grab a child. <laughs> you got a human shield. Nice. I like tie them around me or something. You know. Nice. I'm gonna make a suit of armor out of baby's nail. <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, that brings us to Camille. Camille, you have figured out mm, this is a mess now. So can I yell out to my compatriots and see where they're at? Sure. Marco. Polo. <laughs> We're like, Who's Polo? Marco? <laughs> you, yeah. So you figured out where both of them are at now. <laughs> you hear the scream of a man as he... Uh, Beats his demise. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Oh yeah, this shadow demon's going ape shit now. Oh no! Okay. New, uh, is he is he round. possessing people or is he just jumping in to kill people? He's jumping into them and killing them, letting okay. them explode. Oh geez. New round, Zadar. Okay. Uh, phew. all right. Uh, has it invaded the body of somebody else? Mm. Mm. you can't okay. see shit you can't see sh i can't see shit um you're blind i am blind uh la 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 okay um uh, i'm just gonna use my movement to uh move five feet to see out out, out of the side of the cart looking to wherever i heard the screen you're it's still covered in uh fog okay if i can't see anything i mean i can't act so that that's gonna be my action uh that brings us to daphne all right i move forward i guess right the guy whatever's still here you're you're moving around yeah Okay, you're moving through. You're still getting jostled. You're still getting bumped. The kid is tucked between your breasts, muffled screaming. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Because uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't know he's behind, between boobs yet. So, uh, Oh, he's not motorboating or anything and like now, that. He, he doesn't realize what it is. Last person <laughs> he saw was a hairy butcher. So, oh. <laughs> uh, Camille, you're up. Okay. Um so if I do a cantrip, does that drop fog cloud? You can drop fog cloud as your main thing and then do the cantrip. Okay. So that's what I do. And I cast true strike. Okay. Um, ooh, 20. Nice. 20. Um, Now, does True Strike do any damage, or it just extracts information? It extracts information. And you rolled a 20? Yep. Uh, the Shadow Demon is in front of Zadar and to the left, and it can see a small girl that it's trying to get to. Oh, and shit. I get advantage on my next attack. There you go. Uh, as the fog disappears, Camille... You see Zadar, you see Daphne moving up quickly, you see somebody on her chest, apparently she's had a romantic interest in the last two minutes, uh, <laughs> and you see a goth-like female yeah. over in the corner, and the shadow demon is headed right for it, yeah, but first, it. it kills a man. Uh, the man explodes. As the shadow demon enters the man's body and at the end of the turn uh, destroys the man with D10 necrotic damage. And that's a zero. Means ten. And that peasant is dead. Blows up. New round. Oh, also everybody sees the jackass that was selling stuff hiding amongst the goods. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Everybody can now see the target. Uh, even the sunlight can see the target, so it's going to be a little bit tougher on bird. the shadow demon. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and it, it, it's heading right for Zephyr, right? 
It is headed for a yes. You know who's up. I know who it is. (laughs) So yeah, it's headed. I had a good look, so I saw. I saw. There are uh, three people between it and her. Okay, and is there any between anything other than distance between me and it? Just distance. Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, uh, bonus action uh, to to move to intercept the demon. And my action is I'm going to uh, take a swipe with the scimitar. It's magical. So, okay. all right. Let's get to my actions page. All right. Scimitar. Uh, 17. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's easy to hit this thing. <laughs> a 13 is all you need to hit it. Okay. Uh, so the scimitar hits it for uh, a total of 11 points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, Raging Cajun, Daphne, you're up. <laughs> I have to get closer to him, don't I? You can uh, move. Okay, I move closer. Uh, I feel if you want, you can jump onto the uh, cart and do this cool over the hand thing but i will make you do a dex check or an acrobatics check and your attack if you want to do it that way look really no No, i'm gonna totally fail on this dex nope okay she takes the long way around yeah it was your dump stat huh take the long way around okay you get one action by the time you get there and you know what for funsies Roll your decks. Let's see if it would have been super cool. Oh, I would have got 17. Oh, that would have been super cool. But instead, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. 12 to hit. 13 to hit. Uh, over to the wizard, Necromancer. What do you want to do? Um, can you do Ray of Frost? Sure. Seventeen. That hits. Mm. Two. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, the shadow demon has had enough of everybody's shit, and it's going after three Zadar, but because of the sunlight, it is at disadvantage. 18 and 12, so 17 and 23. Uh, 17 hit. They both hit. Well, I'm at disadvantage, so 17 is the 17. only 17, yeah, shot. 17 is my armor class, so. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. Fuck. <laughs> How many hit points you got? <laughs> oh, let's find out. <laughs> Uh, I need more dice. You have potions. Okay, so the claws. Yeah, you got lucky there. Six damage on the claws. Okay. Psychic damage. Give me a constitution. Okay, uh, 14. I think 14 is enough. Stand by. I didn't I didn't write that one down for some dumbass reason. Cuz you're an old man. Ah, uh, no shit. <laughs> oh, and it is in the wrong spot. You know what? Uh good DM says fuck it. What what did you roll? I rolled a 14. Well, now I'm almost here, so <laughs> fuck it. Control F, boys and girls. That's what <laughs> you need to know. Uh, you'd think I'd remember this one. I use it all the time. Holy shit. Do you know how many freaking demons are in the monster manual? A lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh demon. no! Uh, if the demon had advantage on the attack roll, which it does not, so you suffer no psychic damage. 
So you got lucky. You just take six damage. Okay. Oh. Lucky okay. you. Uh, that puts us at the top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you need healing? Uh, yeah, I do. I got a lozenge. <laughs> so I am going to disengage and pop a Ludens. There you go. Uh, how much were the Ludens again? 1d8 plus 2, no 1s. Okay. Daphne, you're up. All right. Uh, 18, you said it just has to be 13. Yep. 18 the hit, and six damage. Barbarian brings her A game. 19. Uh, Camille, the necromancer. Hmm. Uh, da, da, da. So can I cast ray of light on a person uh yeah you can cast it on the shadow demon mm -hmm. okay we'll do that mm. oh, fuck. uh 13 yeah you cast it right on it okay and uh... it's blind like ray charles okay Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't resist doing the movement. Amen. It's going to slash out wildly. Uh, six. It's going to hit a human being. Oh, yeah. That dude is fucking dead. <laughs> nope. Seven hit points. That, uh, let's see what it was. Poor villager. Female is still alive. Ah, gasps in pain. Top of the orders that are. Uh, uh, slice dice <laughs> uh, with the scimitar. Okay. Uh, 20 to hit. Yep. It's not natural. So, okay. That is oh, a big whopping seven damage. Bonus action. Dagger. Oh, kitty. Dagger, dagger. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is an extra eight points of damage. I should have That's taken sneak attack as the goddamn bonus action. <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, Daphne, you're up. I forget I'm a rogue, man. <laughs> hey. I, I'm just cool like that, you know. No, you are. Sadara <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> is, but I'm not. <laughs> That's right. Our our PCs are all cooler than we are. Mm -hmm. What a six! I just told Billy she's bad luck. Bad luck cat. Oh, nice. oh she's a sweet. <laughs> Weezer. Camille, you're up. Oh crap. Okay. Um, can I see Zephyr still? Uh, she is hiding. Where is she hiding at? She's bobbing and weaving like Muhammad Ali trying to get away. Okay. Um, mm, okay, can I do light again? Uh, uh, give me an intelligence check. Five. Sure, go ahead and recast. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell that the light is still on it, though. Oh, okay. So I should do something else. Probably. Mm -hmm. um, Although with a five intelligence roll, eh, you know. You know what? Maybe you should put the glowing orb in each eye socket to make it even more terrifying to the citizens. <laughs> <laughs> the plaza will be covered in shit. <laughs> um, I'll do Ray of Frost then. Okay. Ooh, 22. Yep, that hits. And. Uh, 1d8. 7. Uh, the Shadow Demon goes after the other person. 
It's these poor that people. Dude is dead. Oh <laughs> my god! It Top is of, carnage, people. It's the other adventurer's fault. Top of the order. That guy, you get to hit in the nuts <laughs> multiple yes. times. Uh, top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, again, I am going to... This thing's still blinded, right? Oh, yeah. There's still light on it. Okay. All right. I am going to attack again. Wait, if it's blinded, do we get advantage? Uh, no, because it doesn't have armor. It is suffering from disadvantage at trying to hit you guys. Uh, yeah, uh, 14, does that hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, initially, that is 8 points of damage, followed by sneak attack, which is 6 points of damage. Uh, Daphne? Do it. Oh, 15. The hit. That hits. Yeah. Five damage. Eh. It's something. Camille. <sighs> How about shocking grasp? Okay. Get up in its grill. That's right. Ooh, 22. Yep. And... Somebody's using pyro dog dice. <laughs> I'm not Kyle, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> you aren't an odd fish. Thank you. <laughs> Eight. Ooh, nicely done. No, nah, Kyle has a habit of calling it. Well, we know what he calls it. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Oh, shit. This one's going after the tiefling. No! Do I get extra armored stuff because of the child on me? Yes. <laughs> That's a uh, plus. That's a plus one. Plus one because you grabbed a kid. 18? Does an 18 hit you? I guess you would hit, right? Yep, match is a hit. Even with your plus one for a child? Uh, a murder hobo and a five. You take 11 plus 3, 14 damage. Did the child get any damage? Yeah, the child's dead. <laughs> you got a dead child strapped to you now. Way to go. It, t it takes 11 as well as the uh, spiritual hand just carves right through both of you. Oh my wow. God. Wow. <laughs> it's a total of five if you're keeping track at home. She is a she is our most deadly murder hobo. <laughs> uh, still up, Daphne. I'm still up. Top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm still up. Because I took okay. my. Okay. Uh, that saved your ass. It's still blinded. I'm gonna ask again. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, scimitar attack. Uh, bup up 14 again. Yep. Okay. That is, uh, 10 points of damage initially, followed by two D6s, which is, uh, two fives. 10 more points of damage. More. Got it. Uh, Daphne? Dun dun dun. All right, 17 to hit, eight, eight uh, damage. It's hurting. Camille, you're up. It's not dead yet. Nope, almost dead. Okay. It's only almost dead. Mostly dead. Mm. <laughs> the different stages of dead. <laughs> That's right. So I guess I'll go back to Ray of Frost. Okay. And it is headed towards Zephyr. Ooh, that's a 22. And it might not make it to her. And... Uh, 
Six. The shadowy figure of King Horanus dissipates in the sunlight. <laughs> Covering you all in a fine black dust, nice. including five dead bodies, one of which is strapped to Daphne, and one egregiously wounded woman. Uh, Zephyr has backed herself up against a wall in fear, and four of the adventurers that you saw earlier round the corner, weapons in hand, ready to do battle. Really? Uh, they are. You're a little late, guys. <laughs> they are a wee bit late. Uh, they look at the carnage and demand to know what the hell happened to Cyrus. The spindly man begins to stammer and stumble over his words, and it is clear to these four adventurers that their flunky has done something stupid. Seeing you guys covered in black, excuse me, black ash, um, they ask you what happened. I let Zadar pontificate. You're flunky over here i thought it was a good idea to shake the urn of king what's his nuts and released uh the demon uh, a shadow demon cyrus looks a little sheepish and uh sheepish he looks nods. sheepish after this <laughs> he he nods and confirms that that was the case uh people at hand. died and you look sheepish at least he owned it so you know the adventure adventuring corporation uh says our deepest apologies to those who are dead we will certainly make restitution to them as for you three for taking care of the problem uh started by our cohort we would like to reward you with something Gee, thanks. Is Just as lube? long as it's not another burial urn. Is there a lube that we're going to get rewarded with since we got fucked? <laughs> they have... Uh, who wants to roll a d6? Uh, not me, I'm angry. Uh, do it! Yeah, Daphne, do it. No! Uh, two... Uh, a wand of wonder is... Holy better. shit! Okay. Will this make us square? No. Well, it's a it's a start. So, <laughs> and I, I'm bullshitting the guy. I'm just like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wink at him while I take it. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> we will consider this debt paid. Yes, definitely. Uh, now they go over to the dead bodies and wait for the. <laughs> relatives to show up uh, hey guess what you guys haven't done you didn't corral zephyr no, everybody because i was uh, she used in a she's i was gonna go for her oh okay well give me an investigation check <laughs> she's a weary little girl 20 you know where she's at and i go to her and i you know our kindred spirits i say look you gotta come home. I don't want to go home. Why not? Uh, the old man beats me. Really? Really? Does she look bruised? No. Yeah. yeah try again, Zephyr. <laughs> I just don't like living with him. Okay. He doesn't pay enough attention to me. Well, that's understandable. So, uh, I mean, a because you're such a huge bitch. Because <laughs> you're such a letdown. No, uh, I'm kidding. Which I'm is what kidding. I told him when we met with him. So, if we have a conversation about that, would you be willing to come home? Persuade me. Give me a persuasion roll. How old, Zephyr? About 15, 16. I love these dice. 20. Fine. Uh, okay. Fine. Well, look, kid. <laughs> you know, I'm doing the Baz Harrison Ford here. Look, kid. Uh, short round. <laughs> uh, 
Look, you're old enough to start adventuring. How do you feel about that? Give me a persuasion roll. Okay. Uh, 15 plus ba ba ba. Persuasion. Uh, 21. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look, Sapper, uh, you know, I feel like. She wants me to go home to the old man. You want me to go off adventuring? Yep. I feel like I'm you're... offering you an alternative. If you can talk your dad into letting you pursue a career in adventuring, if you're inclined, obviously there's danger, but the riches, the rewards are great. So you're telling a teenager, fuck it, just run away from home and become an adventurer. Well, I mean, if she's that <laughs> displeased of her life, I said, you get to deal with shit like this every yeah. day. Because I was you know, like... Are, do you deal with kids at all? <laughs> I'm trying to scare her straight is what I'm trying to nice. do. <laughs> so I already have her. She she and I have a thing. We we deal with demons every day, kid. So you yeah, got a like, choice. You know, your dad's going to make you do something. We'll talk to your dad and we'll say, hey, you need to pay more attention to your kid. We already had this conversation back in the office. And he knows that. And I say, look. Also, do you have your pawn tickets? <laughs> She's getting a real creep vibe off you right now. <laughs> I, I'm just like, Billy look, Idol. you're 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 in deep shit right now. So. Are you do, are you doing the Billy Idol sneer at her? Yeah, right. <laughs> you're in. Uh, hey, you're in deep shit right now. <laughs> Daphne, you want to add to this mess? mess? Um, I'm gonna be like, I left home and I'm doing just fine. Yeah, you got blood all over your boobs and the kids <laughs> had a sign to one There's side. A, a decaying child <laughs> in between your breasts. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think you dropped the ball. Boing, boing, boing on that one. Uh, she she has agreed to return to her father or to okay. her home. Yes, she does have the pawn tickets. Let's get the stuff out of pawn. So your dad, that'll be in your favor when you're going back. So. I don't have any money. Fine. No, let's All just right. take, the, take her and the tickets home. And I kind of... Let dad deal with that. I pull her aside. I said, there might be something in that box. <laughs> so. Well, she stole it from her dad, so it's on him. Give me the tickets. I'll go get them out of pawn. Okay. All right. Well, they said it wasn't even available for pawn. Well, I mean, that's the whole thing of a pawn. They put it in there. They hold it for so many days. And, you know, the person either comes and pays the money back or. But it hasn't even been a day yet. Wait, uh, Todd or pawn? Pawn. Pawn. <laughs> A-W-N. Yeah, like prawn, pawn. <laughs> yes. I was like, oh, pod, like storage pods we're talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, pods. <laughs> Ye old pods. <laughs> yes, it's an air, air conditioned pod and cacophony. <laughs> well, you're like, they have X amount of time and they can get it back. And I'm like, they said what? there were there there was papers inside that box. I am curious to see what those papers were. Yeah, I am too, granted. Persuade me to give you give you the pawn ticket. Okay. Uh, let's see, seventeen plus six, so yeah. I'll go with. Fine. All right. She goes in. Abel and Mabel are there. How may we help you? Mabel she presents the pawn ticket. Uh. Lovely ladies, uh, we're you. here. We're here to get these items out of pawn. Two hundred gold pieces. Holy crap! Your dad owes me. Owes me. Is that what they paid you for your pawn? No, they only paid me one hundred and fifty. Okay, so they made fifty off of it. Very well. So, where's where's the hundred and fifty, Zephyr? Oh, I spent that. Don't make me shake you down. 
touch me, I scream rape. <laughs> It'll be a May Chan, so <laughs> no. <laughs> just uh seriously. Uh just just level with do you have any of the money left over? No. I had debts I had to pay. Okay. What did you what debts do you have to pay? You aren't my dad. Are no, you gonna get but... the stuff out of Hawk or not? Fine. So <laughs> So I give the 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 two hundred gold to Mabel and Abel. Wow, you must ladies. be about broke. <laughs> I, I'm about broke at this point, but I'm assuming Dad will pay it. So we hope. Yeah. Okay. So so Mabel yeah. and Abel pull out the box and the pouch. Get the box and the pouch. Put it on the table. Zephyr takes it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We stop her. Uh, my stuff. Uh, uh no. no. We paid the pawn. It is our stuff now. So. Mabel and Abel are strangely quiet. Yeah. I'm gonna give her the child's body and say you can have this. Mm, it's not jerky wow. yet, so yeah. it still stinks. So, so, the answer is no, Zephyr. And, uh, yeah. So... I take the stuff. Okay. Uh, I got a hand on Zephyr. <laughs> May I think I think Camille has a hand on her too. Yeah. Uh, with that, we will go ahead and call this mission successful. Uh, ish. ish. Well, you know what? You were assigned to go get Zephyr. You got mm -hmm. Zephyr. Uh, what you find in the box? Probably going with Paltrow's head. But we aren't What's sure. in the box? I gotta do it. I do it every episode. That's right. <laughs> no, Kate? I, I want to have a conversation with her and her dad. We will save that. We will save that, we'll save that for next, next week. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, what'd you think? It's good. We're getting there. I'm excited. I feel like every time it's like some major person dead or alive, which is nice. Well, you know, it's urban, so there's, there's not a whole lot of mana core running around the city. So I have to make do with what I can. You missed the monk episode where these guys got the shit beat out of them. Yeah, and Zadar <laughs> yeah. has a new girlfriend, so yeah, that, that's bad. not going to end well. My character was uh, had suffering from food poisoning, so I was left behind. That's right. <laughs> yeah. She, she was doing something else. Yeah, uh, you were TKO, just so... <laughs> Uh, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. And Zephyr, uh, she's a, I'll use Joe Biden terms here. She's a pep. So she's a something. All right. She is a something. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? Zephyr is a girl after my own heart. I understand her. I Are love her. Home? Well, yeah. Sell Camille's going to quit adventuring and start working for Department of Child no, Services. No, 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 no. She doesn't like children that much. They have See, to be older and have some personality. Or dead and on Daphne's chest. Yes, that was awesome. Um, it baby was armor. Yes, baby armor. It was good. I that's gonna that. be that's gotta be a new item now. Like Camille like makes this necrotic or whatever. I you know, know, I can't wait till I level babies. up and I can like Call dead and make shit like I re reanimate I all these the strapped dead babies. Find the dead baby <laughs> strapped on Daphne's boobs. I'm Why dead would they even look? <laughs> they She's walking dead. around with a dead kid. Who's not gonna look at somebody walking around with a dead kid on their chest? Well, yeah, but you wouldn't think, hey, that is that my dead kid? How would you know? Oh, she could be cradling it, and right? Just like, oh. So molesting, I believe, is the term. I mean, and the kids in the web. <laughs> Uh, they, they've already broken. Yeah, well, that's already yeah, broken. That, when, once your still, concentration breaks, I think web goes away, right? Obviously, or their parents didn't care, or they would come talk to us. <laughs> oh, they'll be talking to you. Oh, mopes. They're mopes. <laughs> They're mopes. Uh, yeah. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, Cacophony Edition. Welcome to the city. Welcome to the urban jungle. Uh, we hope you Jay. They found their coffee shop. Uh, we, we, hope, did. we hope you had a good time. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool shit. 
Uh, oh, it's yeah. down there. If uh, you want the Discord channel, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to see it here or on the talk show, go ahead and let us know. M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail. Uh, let us know. We appreciate Pirate Dog Dice for their high rolling dice and uh, oddfishgames.com for their cool adventure scents, their plushies, and their cookbooks. Uh, mm -hmm. Folks, uh, we had a good time. We hope you did too. Catch us later uh, this Saturday. Special adventure, uh, the Hand of Bane group. Uh, they, uh, that should be fun. They're big, hardcore badasses, and they have no idea what's coming out. Yeah, we'll see. We'll and see. I'll add, they are guests on the show. So they if you want to join the show, that's how open we are. Uh, Come on right. in. This, these, these are open games. So. They yep. say they're badasses. But they say they're badasses. Cry. We shall see. Folks, <laughs> for all of us here at Murder Elbow Week, thanks for joining us. We will catch you later. Producer, go ahead and take us out as we all wave goodbye. Okay, I'm transitioning to the thing. Goodbye. And you're muted. And... Hang on.